Grand Admiral Fawn. When Governor Price of Lothal wanted a stronger commander to dismantle the rebellion, the Empire answered with Grand Admiral Fawn. Fawn was a male chief with striking blue skin, red eyes and an angular face, known for his brilliant strategic mind and ruthlessness. Hello, welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we're reviewing another figure off the shelf. We can't leave this one out, which is Admiral Fawn. Now, this guy's sort of been around, he's been there. We kind of nearly lost him in the in the wind of the Disney exchange. But thankfully, they brought him back. Now, this guy's been in a few books, and unfortunately, I haven't read any of them. But, as a big fan of Star Wars, I have Noel Fawn. And I know his, his looks, he's a male cheese. And, uh, yeah, he's quite happy that he's back in the Rebels. When he was in Rebels, I, I when it, that episode started coming out, I was getting a little bit bored of Rebels, and I should have kind of sat there and threw it because I still not watched the whole entire series, unfortunately. But we know he's a ruthless, strategist kind of admiral. We know he's sort of like makes the rebellion kind of rethink what they're doing. So, you know, without even sort of being a, a major fan of this character, well, I am, but I just mean I haven't really read a lot of his lore. Is um. I still know who this guy is and uh, and that's quite good really for a legends kind of character and that's only been in a cartoon series so you know kudos to the, to the guy you know he's really sort of shone out there and shone above the films as well and a lot of people wanted this guy in the films so thank you for Disney for kind of bringing him back to be honest from the dead and um, yeah I mean the figure does it sort of like show off fawn in my eyes I don't think so. I kind of think he needs to be a little, be a little bit darker blue, maybe. It's very light pale blue to me. and um, But he, to me, in my imagination and a few of the older pictures, he's a lot darker blue. You know, he's more kind of more menacing, I think. This kind of blue just makes him look a little bit like a, a very pale off vampire in my eyes. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll take a look at the figure and we go through his posability, we'll go through his accessories. And we go through his features. So, with that, he only comes with one accessory, unfortunately. And uh, that's his little pistol. And it comes in a nice sort of gunmetal grey. Um, I've got this sort of like kind of pointy triangles at both ends. And it's kind of cool because it is a different gun. So, if you do lose it on the floor, you know it's Admiral Fawn's gun. And he's got a nice kind of holster, which is like a little sort of satchel part here. And that just fits in just there as it pokes through the bottom. And it fits quite in quite smart. And also, as always, these figures have trigger fingers. That the little finger just slides right into that hole and he holds it. Pretty sort of meaningful. Kind of me, kind of really looks like just someone that's only going to shoot once and then maybe ask questions or not at all. But, um, yeah, he holds it very well. And uh, he has got a trigger hand on the other side. So let's just see if it fits in there. Just in case you want to make your fawn left-handed. And yep, yeah, it fits in there. Quite well. All right. So with that, we'll look at his uh, posability. And again, you know, he's one of those admirals. And... Um, they're a little bit sort of straight lace, I guess, which are a bit articulations, always a bit refined when we come to their sort of torso kind of area. So you can move his head left and right. You can sort of look up and you can look down and uh, can swivel slightly. Not really much of an ab crunch, unfortunately. And go back a little bit. You can bring his arms up and he's got a rotation at the shoulder got rotation at the elbow and then we've got a 90 degree bend actually it's probably a little bit more than 90 degree goes up quite nice actually and considering it's not a double jointed elbow it's pretty good and we've got the uh, kind of hinge and we've got a rotation and that his legs go out this far which is pretty good and they feel quite sort of firm there as well they're not going to sort of bounce back and he's got an upper thigh rotation 
and he's got a double jointed knee which goes up quite nice and then obviously you've got the rocker and the usual pivot so in all he's got his articulation there he's got his accessory that he holds very well and his legs stand together which is purely genius for Imperials because we all know what these Imperial kind of characters are like mine always seem to want to just stick out just like with one leg but um yeah he stands quite well unfortunately sometimes these little kneecaps down here they don't stand fully and they sort of slowly slide back so you always got that little bit at the bottom down there but um apart from that he stands really nicely on the shelf he's quite firm as well so we can go over his looks and uh yeah i mean i think they have sort of brought his looks out i mean he does look different from a human you know it's very sort of elonged which is like he was in the uh in the sort of like i suppose in illustrations of the books um and he's got this kind of like brow bumps just inside there but i think they should be a little bit more sort of defined i think his eyes should be a little bit either sort of darker like a darker red um you know like obviously they sort of come from the cartoon rather than the sort of like uh the illustrations of the book of more realistic looking but i think they sort of got a bit of a mixture of both it sort of depends if you look on him head on he looks fine but as soon as you start turning him a little bit it does go a bit cartoony i think it just looks a bit odd kind of looks like that um evil villain from that uh kids program which i can't remember who it is but it's like a gymnastic kind of guy that runs around crazy town something like that but um yeah i mean he's got his sleek back hair and it's got there so it's all gelled back and he's got these sort of elong vampire type of ears and uh and into his admiral outfit he's got his gold pauldrons and he's got these little extra bits on here his admiral top and then also his silver pen parts he's actually got blue bits at the top there which is a bit different normally they're just purely silver and we've got that kind of sort of fabric kind of wall kind of looking kind of texture all over his sort of like uh, top and you can see on the belt as well like they've done really well with the sort of leveret look on there especially on the holster that's done really nicely you know you wouldn't think that's plastic it actually looks like a little bit of a leather satchel and just, that goes around and you obviously got the uh, lining of his top and then we've got his little blue hands which are just well blue hands i guess and then going down to his legs just carrying on that texture from the top into his nice glossier boots they're not as glossy as some of the others but they've just got that kind of nice gloss to it but um yeah it's pretty cool and that's pretty much admiral fawn unfortunately he doesn't really come with much you know he comes with just what he needs to come with really he's just a commander that's going to stand in your sort of like collection maybe with like tarkin and krennic and everyone like that but uh yeah i think they got the looks across you know he's a great character even as an action figure if you're into rebels and want like an admiral fawn character then he's definitely worth a pick up and if you're going to put him on the shelf with the imperial lot then fawn's got such a sort of like history of novelization the rebels you know even if you never followed it you still know who this guy is for some weird strange reason you know he's, he's sort of auras out that kind of commandness of the imperials so um that's pretty much him to be honest i mean there's not much to say about him so guys i'm gonna leave it there you can comment down below you can follow me on instagram you can do all that other stuff as well to support the channel and i'll see you next time